Good morning and happy Tuesday. Welcome to Storytime and Inspiration with Crew. We are so happy to be here with you today and hope that you enjoyed your day yesterday celebrating the feast day of Our Lady of Good Counsel. Sweet. Let's take a moment before we begin reading our story today to thank God for our school and ask for the intercession of Our Lady. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we thank you for the gift of Our Lady of Good Counsel Parish School. We thank you that we are able to remain a strong community despite this crisis that we are in right now. We ask for you to keep us connected we know that you are because we are one body. We give you great praise for all of the families that you have brought together as community. And we ask for the intercession of your mother upon our school. Our Lady of Good Counsel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Well, I have a story to share with you. I know that I visited some classrooms um, before we were at, at home learning um, and read this book to you guys. So some of you, you've heard me read this to you before, um, but it's such a good one. I know you'll enjoy it again. It's called, Have You Filled a Bucket Today? <laughs> Here we go. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have a bucket. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. even you, crew. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full and you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. You need other people to fill your bucket and other people need you to fill their buckets. So how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says or does nice things that make others feel special. That's all of you guys. You guys are bucket fillers, I know. When you make someone feel special, you are a filling a bucket. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some of the good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's being a bucket dipper. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that make others feel bad. Bullies are not allowed at our school. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. I love how God does that. 
He blesses us, right? When we do good for others, he blesses us by allowing us to feel good too. All day long, we are either filling or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver. Maybe not today, <laughs> but you can smile and say hi to people. He has a bucket too. You. you can invite the new kid at school to play with you. Again, maybe not today, but think about how you could fill a bucket at your home today. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. Hmm, I like that one. You could tell your grandpa that you like to spend time with him. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or how old you are. It doesn't cost any money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. We call that a win-win. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. I think this is why I love our school so much. Our school is filled with bucket fillers. In fact, there's not a day that goes by that my bucket isn't overflowing because of all of you. We really intentionally try hard to show love and kindness to others and fill people's buckets. And that's what makes our, our school so different from other places and what makes it so special and so great. So why not to decide to be a bucket filler today and every day, right? We know that the things that we do become our habits, the things that we do over and over and over and over again. And we want to make sure that our life is formed with good habits. So if we are a bucket filler today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day, it becomes a part of who we are. It becomes a habit of our life and becomes a part of who we are. It says, just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of each day, ask yourself, did I fill a bucket today? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. <laughs> uh, it is you. Uh, so today I want you to ask yourself, who and how are you going to fill someone's bucket today? And I want to encourage you to do that and then shoot me an email and let me know how you filled someone's bucket today. I want to know so I can celebrate you and keep praying for you um, to make great choices today and always. And don't let bucket filling stop today. Think of how you can do it tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. We right now are blessed with time with our family. And so we have people who are in our homes right now today that we can abundantly bless by filling their buckets. I can't wait to hear what you do. All right, crew, again, you fell asleep in the story. I tell you what, we're gonna have to start calling this sleepy time with crew because you just go to sleep each time, but we're gonna wake you up. Yep, so we can say bye. All right, make it a good day.